So of all the short codes, I think this one is probably the most powerful. I'm just going to make a brand new page called My Short Codes. Type. And I'm just going to publish that. So I just want to share with you how simple this is to use. And if you benefit from the short codes and you understand how the short code thinks, again, remember it's inside the square brackets and you can just change that text similar to what we did in previous videos. So I'm going to go up here again to short codes. And based on these choices, I'm going to pick topography. Now, I'm not going to cover every single one here, but I want to cover the ones that I really like a lot. One of my favorite ones is the icon text. Now, what icon text enables you to do is you can have text for any kind of information that you want to graphically fill your page up with. So let's say I have uh, text for a customer support. Okay. And let's say that link is going to be whatever that link is going to be. We'll just make the link HTTP colon IBM.com. Remember, I own stock in IBM, so definitely buy some. All right, now here's the cool part. I can make the size of my icon any size I want to make it. Just so you can see this much larger will make it huge. And we can apply whatever HTML style you want to as well. Paragraph, H1, H2, et cetera, et cetera. I'm going to talk more about H1 tags for SEO in subsequent videos, so stay tuned for that. And the icon that we're going to pick is not available. And I'm going to share with you why it's not available. So let's go to insert that for a second and publish that. So part of the reason I can't see, actually, there's not part, but the reason I can't see that, because I'm not thinking the way Ultimatum Theme thinks. What Ultimatum Theme requires to pull up icons, it needs to have its library. And that's something we haven't done yet, because we haven't talked about in great detail the Ultimatum Toolset plugins. Now, these are the plugins that ship with Ultimatum. I'm going to do a whole video series uh, coming up in a couple of videos to go through step-by-step -step most of the ones I use most. Did I say that fast? Twice? Most? Most? All right, so let's go to plugins. And based on these choices, Ultimatum, and that's what makes this, this theme so very powerful. It ships with a bunch of commercial plugins that you would have to pay a lot of money for, but it comes complete with your installation. So we're going to click on Core. Now, Core is going to basically give you your core information for the installation of Ultimatum for the plugins. So it doesn't become overwhelming for you. You'll notice that I got a lot of plugins here and you're going to go, what the, what do I do with all this? All right, here's what we need to do. We're going to select core and based on these choices, we're going to go ahead and install the Ultimatum library. Now I have the Ultimatum library already installed. However, I don't have it activated. So if it's not installed, simply click here to install it. We're going to talk about these other core plugins coming up in another video. So stay tuned for that. So I want to activate that plugin. So this is where I'm going to get all the graphics and everything. And of course, that goes into your standard install plugin. So if you're not sure that you have it installed, just go to your install plugins and you will see the list of installed plugins and then make sure that it's activated. If it's not activated, of course, you'd have to activate it. If I want to deactivate, I can click right here. So now when I go back to my page, so page, all pages, scroll down to where we were a second ago, which was my short codes type. Now again, recall from previous videos that by clicking here, it doesn't retroactively change this. So we're just gonna keep this here for a second. I'm gonna hit the return key. I'm gonna click right there and I'm gonna go back to topography and pick icon text. And I'm not gonna fill this in because what I'm gonna do is take that icon and copy and paste it into my existing short code. So I'm gonna say, let's go and pick Let's pick something, oh, wallet money. Yeah, customer service wallet money, that makes sense to me. And of course we want to make the size huge, but that's already set up in our previous. And we can open up this in a new light box. I'll share with you the difference. I'm gonna insert that. So now I'm just going to take this information here, which was part of our icon. I'm gonna take this information. I'm gonna copy this and put this right here. Now again, the reason I'm doing that it's just to save a little bit of time because let's say that you didn't have to, uh, you, you didn't do this to begin with. So right after that, we're also going to make this relevant. We're going to bring this up too. Oh, actually, this goes right here. Double click, copy, put this right there, paste. You understand why I'm doing that? Because I already had that existing. So I didn't want to reinvent the wheel. So now when I update this, 
Here's the ooh and the ah and the wow part of the video. So now when I click preview changes, you're going to see customer support and you're going to have a nice little icon down here, which is set to huge. Again, keep in mind that this is coming up from the H1. Of course, if you don't want it to be that big, then you go back to edit page. And since I know a little bit about short codes, I can change that. So let's change that to an H4 tag. And I can do that right inside the shortcut. Again, remember, by clicking here, it doesn't retroactively change anything. It creates new shortcuts. Shortcuts. I'm going to update that and preview changes. So now it's not going to be as big. Actually, that does look as big, doesn't it? So let's make that H, uh, let's make that an H5. But anyway, we're not going to do that. You'll get the idea. So you can change it from here. Now, of course, if you want to add multiples in here, here's what I want to share with you. You probably don't know the list that's in there right now. So if it helps you to go back into here, I'm going to hit the return key again. I'm going to click short code generator. I'm going to pick topography and go back to icon text. So this is just going to give you your full list, and there's literally hundreds of them in here. And eventually, the ones that you use a lot, you'll get to know what the shortcut wording is for that. And you can just take and put that word in there. Now, if you want a visual re representation of those graphics that are in there, it's a very simple thing to do. And if you want to, I would suggest you can copy and paste and put it in a separate text file and just keep that there for, for your purposes. or Another technique that I like to use is you can make yourself a new page and put all those short code uh, graphic icons in there and then just don't make the visibility to edit so it doesn't publish in public. So you can basically set anything that you publish, you can set the visibility by clicking right here. Okay, so if I click here, I could change that the private or password protected or not see it at all, etc. etc. So here's what I want to share with you. If you go to ultimatum and go to library. And the library is where you get your fonts. Now, we haven't talked about external fonts yet. We'll do that in a subsequent video. But if I click on icons, this gives me a visual representation of all the icons that can be found inside of your library because we initiated it. So what I suggest you do is you can actually take, uh, you know, I say you want to use the eBay icon and the social uh, Evernote icon. So I would suggest you copy these text files, put them in a separate page call it you know icons but just don't publish the page that's just a really nice production technique but all these icons are available for you to use like here's the wallet icon that we used a second ago so let's say i wanted to swap that out so let's say whoever did this i i don't like what i have so i'm just going to take and swap this out in the simplest way to do that if i could grab this this is not behaving come on come on come on I guess I have to take a uh, course in mouse skills. All right, so let's say that I want to put, I want to replace that with uh, customer service. I don't know. Oh, there, there you go. There's a nice customer service icon. So I'm going to take that, copy that. Therefore, when I go back to my pages and scroll down to here and go to edit type, so all I'm going to do is plug that right into here. So instead of saying uh, what I had in it originally, I'm just going to copy and paste. Actually, I deleted the other one, didn't I? So I'm just going to paste that right there, update that, and preview changes. Now, notice I got a lot of windows open here. There's my little heart for customer support. So I have a lot of windows open here, so I'm going to just close a bunch of these windows, and I'll come right back to you. So in our next video, we'll get more into shortcodes topography and share with you some of my favorite topography shortcodes using the Ultimatum theme framework. So stay tuned.